Okay, everybody, Stephen Key here. And today we have another in InventRight member spotlight where we're going to talk a little bit about some of the members at InventRight and find out um, a little bit about them. So here we go. Garth, welcome. Thank you so much, Stephen. I appreciate uh, your you, you allow me to be here. Well, I'm curious. You know, I, I'm a really curious guy, and I want to know why people do things. And I, I just want to ask you a couple of questions here. So let's start at the very beginning. Tell us okay. a little bit about you. Uh, well, my name is Garth Schaefer. Uh, I live in Colorado. Um, I've lived here for about 20 years. Uh, currently work at the Colorado Department of Agriculture. Um, and, uh, you know, really spend most of my career, I would say, focusing on uh, conservation and outdoors and agricultural issues. Um, but I actually, uh, my bachelor's degree is in sculpture. I have a BFA in sculpture. So um, yeah, I just, I've always had a, um, a creative mindset. Uh, I, I've always looked at things from, from how do you, is this a problem? How can I solve it? Um, so that's a little bit about well, me. Well, I love that because I'm a sculptor too, and there's nothing like making something and seeing it, isn't it? I mean, it it's it, there's like it's like nothing else, you know. Be able to physically realize your ideas is pretty amazing. Yeah, I I remember early in my career, I, I started making things, and I was like, I'm hooked. This is what I want to do. So, all right, so let's talk about um, why you know. What did you do? I know you, you're familiar with our program. You're part of our members. You've been in and out. We're going to talk about in a minute, uh, about that in a minute. But before you found us, what did you know about the process? You know, what did you know about patents and our licensing? What did you know about any of that stuff? So I would say not very much. Um, you know, I think my idea of inventing is that it's an involved process or at least it was, my, my ideas of inventing was that it was an involved process of starting a company and developing a prototype and then manufacturing their prototype. And then, you know, just imagining boxes full of this product to trying to sell out of your garage or something like that. Uh, so it seems, it just seems too much work and, and not really worth bothering uh, to, to, go, to, to go through that process, you know. Um, yeah, uh, I would say I started, when I first heard of InventRight, it was uh, a YouTube video that just popped into my my feed, and uh, I saw it. And you know, it's like there's a. I feel like there's a lot of scammers out there. I don't actually know. I've never. I've not experienced any scammers, but I feel like okay. you know, there's all these get rich quick folks out there, and so I'm, I'm skeptical. Um, but I started watching uh, the YouTube video and I was like, these guys seem all right. So I watched several more. And uh, eventually I thought, oh, these guys seem seem all right. I should, I should learn more. I wasn't ready to jump into the coaching program yet, but I did go out and buy your book, uh, The One Simple Idea. And um, after reading that, I feel like I was just a, a lot more comfortable uh, with the process. Um, and you know, eventually I did sign up for coaching and and all that stuff but um okay. yeah prior to that not a whole lot about, about that inventing right. process so you're watching the videos you read the book and what was it about what was the tipping point where you said hey you know i'm going to join invent right what was it i would say there's a certain there was a certain point where i realized i wasn't really getting anywhere with the process. And that had to do, it wasn't so much about the book. It was about more, my personal hangup. Reaching out to companies is, is a challenge. You know, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm just, just not my field of expertise. I'm a creative person. I love the ideas. Um, I could do that all day. But when it comes to reaching out to companies, I was like, oh, I, maybe I should work on this other part first. Um, and after a bit of that, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get anywhere unless I take the next step. And it felt like uh, joining in Ben Wright and getting a coach was the next step for me. Well, a lot of people feel the same way, Garth. I mean, there's certain things you like to do and certain things are a little bit more difficult. And having someone there to, to kind of keep you focused is, 
probably pretty important. So you join, you join InventRight, you have a coach. Talk about that process. Was that helpful? Do they keep you accountable? T talk, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, I thought it was fantastic. So uh, Paul Sorensen uh, was my coach. Amazing guy, super helpful, uh, super friendly, easiest guy in the world to talk with. And uh, so immediately I just felt at home, you know, like this guy is, is here to help me. Um, and it was, it was, it was, it was enough of a push to get to the next step uh, in the process, but also it, it was never, you know, so much that it was felt like it was pressure or, you know, someone was like, oh, you really need to do this. It was, uh, yeah, it was just the right amount of a push, a right amount of the coaching, a right amount of the teaching yeah. to to do that process, to get over those uh, hurdles of, of reaching out to companies and all of that. So very helpful. So there's an in interesting twist ha that happens here. You're in the program, you're working with Paul, but something happens where, where you kind of exit out, but you come back. Right. So tell, yeah, explain that to me. Yeah, well, it was um, after after, you know, I, unfortunately, I was not successful in licensing, licensing my idea. Um, and then the, my my coaching program ended and uh, I thought, OK, well, I, I, I know enough of the process. Uh, I, I think I can figure it out from here on out. Right. Okay. So I wasn't like ready to to jump into any of the ongoing programs that uh, were available at the time. Okay. Um, but it kind of came back to those hurdles again of of really getting motivated to um, to reach out to the companies um, to you know go through that whole process again. And so uh, for several years, you know, I kept kept coming with, up with ideas, kept following the process, but it was always that hurdle. Um, and then, uh, honestly, you had a, you had a great offer at the beginning of this year for a one dollar, uh, one month membership in the Alumni Plus program. Yeah. And I was like, "Well, I, a dollar is nothing," so I signed up, and I just it, the 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 community of InventRight students is just utterly amazing, and um, in many ways, it just has really fostered my my creativity, my motivation to reach out to companies, the ease with which I feel like it can be done. I mean, there's so many success stories, so much encouragement with, from the other students uh, through LinkedIn and through the webinars. Um, it is it is it has really just been fantastic. Um, I, I wish I had done it years ago. Well, I'm glad you said that because I don't think you have to be alone doing this. And I think it's hard. You know, looking back at my career, I, I was always part of a team. I was always, I had a community around me that supported me. Without it, I don't think I could have done it because being by yourself is not easy. No, no, it is not easy. And having having that, I mean, they're, they're, they're not necessarily your team members, but they feel like a team. They feel like, you know, they're there to help you. They're your friends. They're, they uh, really are so supportive that uh, it's just, it's just an, an incredible boost of energy every time I, I watch a webinar whenever I connect with someone on LinkedIn. Um, and then just to have that support is just really incredible. Yeah, I'm very proud that we have a community of caring people, as you know, and, and we all have the same goals. We always, we're trying to commercialize our ideas. We know the struggle, we connect with one another, but we're all supportive of one another. And we come together with all the different programs that we have. And I was on a one of our programs last night called Smart Pitch. And there was probably, I don't know, 40, 50 people because we're in that process. We're pitching ideas. We're talking to each other. What's the best way? What's the strategy? And I love that everybody comes together to learn from each other now because it takes it to a whole nother level. So, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, just just the ideas that come out of it. You, you see the chat flowing by and you're like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to use that. You know, But people are just so willing to share their techniques or, or the processes that work for them because... You know, I was in that meeting and, and it was like, yeah, there's really not a right way. If you get in, that's the right way. What's that? You, you know, what I've learned is that um, we have to be current. We need the most current information. We need information from a lot of different people. But we we have to be in that fight together. So we understand it. Right. And, and by doing that, 
and sharing that information. In fact, I shared a story last night that something I learned, and I've been doing this forever in a day, I saw something I learned. So right. it never stops. You know, a lot of people come to us and they'll say, Steve, I'm further along. Maybe I filed a PPA, maybe I have a sell sheet and I don't need any help. And I, I want to tell everybody, no, you just started. So <laughs> there's so much more. So um, Gar, thank you so much for coming on. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. And, and I'm glad I could share my story and hopefully other inventors out there will, will be able to get some information out of this. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, Stephen Key here. Thank you for watching InventRight, member spotlight, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.